Lady Jane Grey was born in 1537 in England, and she was the great-granddaughter of King Henry VII. She was a highly intelligent and well-educated young woman who spoke several languages and was an accomplished musician. In 1553, at the age of 16, Lady Jane was married to Lord Guilford Dudley, the son of John Dudley, the Duke of Northumberland. At the same time, King Edward VI, the son of Henry VIII, was dying of tuberculosis and the Protestant faction in England feared that his Catholic half-sister Mary would ascend to the throne and undo the Protestant reforms that had taken place during Edward's reign. To prevent Mary from becoming queen, Northumberland arranged for Lady Jane to be proclaimed queen after Edward's death. Jane, who was a devout Protestant, was reluctant to accept the crown but was pressured into doing so by her family and advisors. Jane's reign was short-lived, as Mary was able to gather support and was eventually crowned queen. Jane and her husband were imprisoned in the Tower of London and Northumberland was executed for his role in the plot. Mary initially hesitated to execute Jane as she was only a pawn in Northumberland's political machinations. However, Jane's father, Henry Grey, joined in a rebellion against Mary and she was forced to take action. On February 12, 1554, Lady Jane and her husband were executed for high treason. Jane was only 17 years old at the time, and her execution was carried out with great difficulty due to her youth and her courage. The sad story of Lady Jane Grey's execution is a reminder of the tumultuous political and religious landscape of 16th century England, where even a young woman of great intelligence and potential could be used as a pawn in the struggle for power.